हॅलो माय नेम इज डॉक्टर जगदीश शिंदे अँड आय एम वर्किंग ॲज अ कॅन्सर स्पेशलिस्ट इन पुणे अँड इन माय टुडेज व्हिडिओ आय एम गोईंग टू टेल इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग लिव्हर कॅन्सर अँड वॉट इज रोल ऑफ रेडिएशन इन लिव्हर कॅन्सर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग व्हिडिओ आय जस्ट वॉन्ट टू इन्फॉर्म ऑल द पेशंट्स दॅट इफ एनी पेशंट वॉन्ट टू डू ऑनलाईन कन्सल्टेशन विथ मी दॅन आय हॅव शेअर्ड लिंक इन कमेंट बॉक्स अँड डिस्क्रिप्शन सो यू कॅन क्लिक ऑन द लिंक अँड डायरेक्टली कनेक्ट विथ मी फॉर एनी टाईप ऑफ कॅन्सर ट्रीटमेंट आय हॅव ऑल्सो शेअर्ड माय क्लिनिक ॲड्रेस फॉर एनी पर्सनल कन्सल्टेशन सो वील स्टार्ट द व्हिडिओ सो इन लिव्हर देर आर टू टाईप्स ऑफ कॅन्सर्स वन इज प्रायमरी लिव्हर कॅन्सर्स मीन्स द कॅन्सर्स विच ओरिजिनली डेव्हलप इन द लिव्हर विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ॲज हेपेटेस सेल्युलर कॅसनोमा ऑर एच सी सी अँड सेकंड टाईप पाईप टूमर्स इन लिव्हर इज कॉल्ड ॲज मेटासेटिक लिव्हर ट्यूमर्स मीन्स द कॅन्सर इज डेव्हलप्ड समवेअर एल्स लाईक ब्रेस्ट लंग ऑर एनी अदर ऑर्गन अँड इट हॅज मेटासेटाईज टू द लिव्हर सो दीज टू टाईप्स ऑफ ट्यूमर्स आर सीन इन लिव्हर सो वॉट इज रोल ऑफ रेडिएशन इन दीज लिव्हर ट्यूमर ऑर लिव्हर कॅन्सर्स सो बेसिकली लिव्हर इज अ व्हेरी रेडिओ सेन्सिटिव्ह ऑर्गन मीन्स द टॉलरन्स ऑफ लिव्हर सेल्स इज व्हेरी लेस टू द रेडिएशन सो वाईल गिव्हिंग रेडिएशन टू द लिव्हर वी हॅव टू बी व्हेरी कॉशियस अँड ॲक्युरेट बिकॉज इफ वी गिव्ह रेडिएशन टू नॉर्मल लिव्हर सेल्स दीज सेल्स विल डॅमेज व्हेरी फास्ट दॅट्स वाय द प्रिसिजन इन ट्रीटमेंट वाईल ट्रीटिंग द लिव्हर इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट द सिलेक्शन ऑफ पेशंट फॉर रेडिएशन इन लिव्हर टू मर इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट बिकॉज लिव्हर इज व्हेरी सेन्सिटिव्ह टू द रेडिएशन वॉट आर डिफरंट क्रायटेरियाज बाय विच वी सिलेक्ट अ पेशंट फॉर रेडिएशन इन लिव्हर ट्यूमर सो नंबर वन क्रायटेरिया इज द वॉट इज वॉट इज ट्यूमर साईज सो वी कॅन ट्रीट स्मॉल ट्यूमर्स विथ रेडिएशन इफ द ट्यूमर इज व्हेरी लार्ज अँड कोपाईंग व्हेरी लार्ज एरिया ऑफ द लिव्हर ऑर देर आर मल्टिपल ट्यूमर्स इन द लिव्हर देन वी कॅनॉट गिव्ह रेडिएशन टू द लिव्हर बिकॉज इट विल डॅमेज द नॉर्मल लिव्हर ऑल्सो द सेकंड क्रायटेरिया इज लिव्हर फंक्शन the patient should have uh, a minimum bare minimum uh, liver function so that if we treat the liver tumor then patient should be able to have significant amount of uh, residual liver so that it can function properly so that is the second criteria so uh, these are important criteria while selecting the patient for radiation therapy for the liver then uh, if anybody is planned for radiation therapy to the liver how radiation therapy will be planned the process of planning for radiation therapy liver is same as normal radiation therapy so we have to do initially ct scan of the patient in the treatment position but we need to take ct scan but there are some um, different protocols for planning for liver cancer because we have to take triple phase that is liver protocol for planning there are there are certain problems associated with the radiation therapy to liver the number one is that uh, the liver is a mobile organ so when we um, breathe in the liver will be pushed down and when we breathe out liver will be pushed up so the liver is in continuous motion uh, while breathing so we have to compensate for that motion so in order to compensate for the, um, these motions uh, we use certain techniques by use of this technique we limit the motion of the liver the number one technique we use is active breath control or abc in active breath control what we do is we use a spirometer like device uh, attached to the patient and by the uh, by the use of this machine uh, we track the spiratory motion of the patient and we tell the patient to take a deep breath and hold the breath for 15 to 20 seconds in that particular window of 15 to 20 seconds we treat the tumor and in between patient will take a normal breath by uh, limiting the motion uh, respiratory motion we will uh, target the tumor and we will uh, spare the normal liver area this is called as active breath control then second method we use is a uh, tracking so in tracking what we do is the radiation beam will uh, move along with the tumor and uh, for the tracking we have to place some fiducials or some markers inside the liver so that we can uh, track the motion of these markers and uh, by use of these uh, markers we can track the tumor so this me- method is called as tracking and the third method is abdominal compression in abdominal compression we press a uh, compressive bandage around the abdomen and uh, by use of this compression we limit the abdominal motion and thereby limiting the motion of the liver and by these by these methods we limit the uh, movement of the liver and we target the liver tumor 
so these are uh, different methods by which we can uh, treat liver the method of giving radiation to liver is called as stereotactic body radiotherapy or sbrt so in sbrt we generally give radiation in 1 to 10 fractions and most commonly it is given in 3 to 5 fractions total treatment will be completed within 1 to 2 weeks uh, it is opd based treatment uh, it will take around uh, 10 minutes to 20 minutes sometimes it might take more if respiratory gating is used so it is a opd based treatment and treatment will be completed uh, within 1 to 2 weeks uh, so what are different uh, side effects associated associated with liver radiation so the number one side effect is that uh, when we uh, give radiation to liver surrounding normal liver will also get some radiation so there is a possibility that liver function might get deranged for few patients the second side effect is that few patients might get uh, ascites that is uh, accumulation of what uh, fluid in the abdomen uh, after uh, completing radiation so but not all patients will get these side effects only few patients will get these side effects some patient might feel nausea and vomiting because of radiation to surrounding normal bowel area also so these are the most common side effects associated with uh, liver radiation so if you have any doubt regarding liver cancer liver uh, liver radiation or any other uh, cancer related treatment uh, then you can directly consult with me i have given a link for online consultation uh, if you want to meet me personally in my clinic i have given address of my clinic uh, for uh, person consultation thank you very much